were going to talk about a clever and easy hack that could help you with your water quality in your aquarium while potentially avoiding a lot of the problems with popular methods such as the Wallstad and the Father Fish method. The primary goal of these methods, especially the Wallstad method, is to provide a healthy environment for a planted aquarium. Uh, many people tend to latch on to the idea of the reduced or no water change method of these ecosystem aquariums. The hack I'm going to share with you today offers you the benefits of keeping a planted ecosystem aquarium while also potentially reducing the need for water changes in the aquarium. The hack I'm going to share with you will provide some ideal living conditions for some potential sought after fish that may struggle with these other popular methods. This includes the majestic Asian arowana, the intriguing stingray, the fascinating geophagus, vibrant African cichlids, classic fancy goldfish, the lively live bearers and the colourful rainbow fish. First, let me talk about the Wallstab method. This method includes using a soil substrate and a variety of aquarium plants to create a balanced ecosystem. However, strictly from a fish keeping point of view, the Wallstab method only offers methods that strictly solve problems for the planted aquarium, if that makes sense. Next, we have the Father Fish method. Like the Wallstab method, the primary goal for the Father Fish method is to provide an ideal environment for aquatic plants to grow in, which creates a balanced ecosystem that reduces the need for water changes. However, setting up a Father Fish style system can be quite complex due to all the additives he suggests adding. Now let's reveal the hack that I've been suggesting. This method includes using a certain type of plant that can help improve water quality and reduce the buildup of harmful substances in the water column. What's more, this method also creates a balanced ecosystem within your aquarium, offering all the fish keeping advantages of the Wallstad and Father Fish methods, whilst reducing all the potential pitfalls that these methods can create with, for a fish keeping environment. The main advantage to this method is its sheer simplicity. It doesn't require a soil substrate or the use of any additives within the aquarium, making it easier and cheaper to set up than the Wallstad or Father Fish Method aquariums. It's also potentially far more flexible, as it can be used with a far wider variety of fish and plants, as I've already mentioned. Another benefit of this method over the popular method is it actually gives you a visual indicator of when you can start reducing your water changes in a safe manner. If the plants are yellowing, this is an indicator that the plants are absorbing nutrients from the water faster than they're being replenished. This is a visual indicator that reducing the water changes can have a benefit on the plants. And the key to this success, simple floating plants. Floating plants offer several advantages over different types of plants, making them a far superior choice for many aquarists. Firstly, they're far more efficient at reducing nutrients in the water, which can include fish waste such as nitrates and ammonia. They help to improve the water quality and reduce the buildup of harmful substances. However, you could look at this from a different perspective and say they just keep the water quality better. Secondly, floating plants do not need a substrate, making them easier and cheaper to keep than other types of plants. They also provide cover for fish, which can help reduce stress and encourage more natural behavior within the aquarium, similar to the use of dither fish. Lastly, floating plants grow rapidly when under the right conditions, which could provide a food source for herbivorous fish and helping to control algae by outcompeting them for the nutrients in the water column while also reducing the amount of light that gets into the So if you're looking for an extremely simple and cost effective method of potentially reducing the number of water changes you do on your aquarium, then floating plants might be the ecosystem for you. So if you're a beginner or someone who's looking at the potential benefits of using something like the Wallstad or the Father Fish, fish method, without the use of a soil substrate and the additional additives in the water, without the complexity of using a soil substrate, then this method could be a great option for you.
Hope you find this information extremely helpful. If any questions or maybe you have some suggestions that I haven't covered, please feel free to pop them in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.